Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 2nd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all for joining me. Thank you. We're going to start out here with our sun today. Looking at an incoming sunspot. We've been observing it the last couple days. It is active, but not very large and not equatorial. So most likely won't be affecting Earth, but the coronal hole wind stream will be, and it's already picked up a little bit. Sitting at roughly 400 kilometers per second. This is the most action we've seen. It's kind of exciting to see a sunspot on the sun after we went 28 days without. Looking at our sun here, able to see the effects in our heliosphere. Watching in that southeast quadrant, large plasma filament. 304 angstroms here. Look at that. That's huge. And you can see both northeast, northwest, Southwest and southeast, all plasma filaments erupting. Amazing footage coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. Just keeps getting better. Much love and appreciation to all those accredited to doing that. Looking here at real time solar data, as you can see, 479 kilometers per second, and it did ramp up overnight to about 500. 13 kilometers per second and we'll be expecting that to increase throughout the day today as we do have another coronal wind stream affecting us looking here the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world largest here with the 5.5 uh mark macari australia 5.1 here abu Pura, indonesia Large 5.0 here in China. Some movement here off the coast of Oregon with a 3.9. And as well, two pretty sizable earthquakes in Mexico. 5.2 here in San Mateo. And a 4.2. And still watching many small tremors throughout Puerto Rico, South America, 4.3 here, Argentina, 5.2, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and 4.7 here, Carlsberg Ridge, Indian Plate Line. Let's just bump this up to two days. This is the last two days for earthquakes. A lot of movement, Southern Hemisphere. Pretty quiet, African Plate, throughout Europe as well. So we're watching the quiet zones, Africa, Europe, and of course, Cascades, San Andreas Fault Line. That's the last seven days for earthquakes. Deep earthquakes in numbers have come down a bit. So stay aware and prepared. Have a plan and be ready. This is the last seven day visible image there of Hurricane Lorenzo as it hit Azores, Portugal, one of the small islands on its way to Spain. Crazy images here. Large tidal front coming through. There are probably 10 foot, 12 foot waves crashing into the island right now, or was. The storm is past now. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who lives on this tiny island, Azores, Portugal. Just some crazy images coming out of there. Look at this. Huge tidal surge. And those big concrete thingamajiggies on the side there, I forget what they're called. They're supposed to break these waves 
Well, they're breaking them, and it's still sending them straight over this barge. Wow, thoughts and prayers to everybody in Azores, Portugal. As well, throughout parts of Mexico as Tropical Storm Narda. That's right, Colorado just felt the winds from Narda. But Tropical Storm Narda has destroyed over 400,000 turtle eggs on the coastline. Just look at this. All of the turtle eggs being lifted right out of the soil, spread amongst, and I love turtles. This is my most favorite animal in the world. This saddens my heart. I wanted to share that crazy image with you. This is the last seven-day visible image across North America. That large Pacific low coming from the northwest has finally made it across the mountains with a little heart from with a little help from Narda. But yeah, strong convergence line across the Midwestern United States and into southern Ontario. They had some pretty nasty thunderstorms yesterday. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Looking here over North America, large high pressure ridge bringing down cool, cool temperatures from the north. As well, overlooking Lorenzo as it is quickly now moving northeast and will affect Ireland. Center of the low heading straight for Ireland and then into Europe. But still very large and strong, vigorous low pressure system just above it heading hitting Greenland. There's the five day forecast for Lorenzo. And this is the tiny little island Azores in Portugal. Some insane images out of there. Thoughts and prayers going to everybody. Across the Atlantic Ocean, still watching a strange hurricane season pattern. And across Europe, they're now receiving tropical storms as well. Downgraded, but they are tropical storms. They were in the Atlantic. Now they're affecting Europe. Large low pressure systems affecting Russia as well. They're going to be receiving a lot of snow over the next five days throughout parts of Siberia, northeastern Russia. And then watch as this one dips down into China and could possibly join forces with tropical cyclone Maytag, who is still affecting Korea as it's as of this moment right now, thoughts and prayers to everybody there, but it's supposed to reform and then hit Japan. So thoughts and prayers, God bless humanity. And thank you all for joining me. Let's overlook North America temperatures. Very cool. Got some pretty cold nights here in Alberta, minus two, minus three, and no temperatures above eight degrees over the next five day forecast. So is this autumn? Um, it's a little bit colder than autumn and we are in the second week of fall so we could be in for a long cold winter here in Alberta overlooking Greenland you can see there I was talking about the large low pressure system affecting them they will, will be receiving some probably record amounts of snow we're going to be monitoring that as well no Atlantic storms, or sorry, no areas of interest for Atlantic storms. In South America finally seeing some rain throughout those forest fire stricken areas of Bolivia, and Paraguay. No major systems affecting Australia except for southwestern parts of the continent as a low pressure system heads in there overlooking Africa still some strange cool temperatures hanging about throughout southern southern Africa the southern hemisphere polar vortex is reaching down a little bit further than it used to If you hear looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere, 
I want to thank all of my new subscribers from around the world, friends and family. Thank you for joining the family. And I really hope you enjoy the content that I create for you. Trying to keep everybody that I love aware and prepared. And that means everybody. God bless humanity. I truly love all of you. And I appreciate all of your continued support and loyalty to this channel. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.